Hello everybody, my name is Bob and Ficklin. We are back again for episode two of Subterrain Mines of Titan. Um, when last we left off, we had just heroically uh, killed some rats. Um, that was no problem at all, and we definitely did not get close to dying. Uh, and we're ready to um, turn in the rat quest, maybe look around the basement a little more. Uh, and we leveled up, so we're going to have to decide uh, what we're going to put points into. Um, so if I remember correctly, the skill, uh, it's K to do that, so let's see, what are we going to get here? Improves melee accuracy, critical chance, melee efficiency, okay, so makes you better at two-handed. We got one perk point. Um, it looks like there's a lot of these things where, where we need to have skill before it's going to let us uh, like unlock different perk options. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to sit on this until I figure out what kind of weapons are available for actually going into the proper like missions or dungeon or whatever it is that's that's around here. And um, and then we'll pick our point once we once we kind of know a little bit more about what our options are. So I am going to turn tab back, back on because I want to uh, be able to see what my options are uh, and yeah we're just gonna look around the rest of this basement make sure there's nothing we missed no secrets no hidden anything yep can't attack that wall There's definitely, or there was definitely loot in here. I guess we got all of it already, or some of it already. I don't know what that thing on the wall is. Okay, yeah, this is fine. Uh, let's go turn in this mission and see about getting our reward. Uh, okay, our guy is not here, but there's something we can do about that. If I go to my tasks here, Alps Pub, if I want to go to Alp, I can click the track path and it will take me there. So let's find where he is at. Okay, so he's in this other basement. Is that him right here? Yes, I can tell by the mustache. Okay, tracking complete. Five rat tails. Uh, they were tougher than they looked, but I brought five rat tails. Well, six, if you count this one, that splits off at the end. <laughs> Alp checks you for lasting wounds and smiles when he finds none. He's the warmest personality you've encountered so far, but there is a mystery behind his eyes as well. Oh my god. I, what, I wonder what that actually looks like, to see a mystery behind someone's eyes. Um, a few scratches never hurt anybody, right? As promised, the best soup on Titan. Some rations for the road, and I'll even throw in some credits for the extra tail. I got food, water, and credits. The first one's free, but if you have a craving for more of my delicious food, I'll have to charge you. I've got to keep the lights on. Be sure to eat often. I'm sure you're hungry from a long day of checkups and system registration for you. My Omniscope is connected, but nobody mentioned registering. What? Registering is the only way to fully use the camp's system, my friend. David's in charge of the supply facility. You should go see him. And if nobody said it yet, welcome to Camp Hewan. Adjusting to life here might take some time, but you'll get there. Well, I gotta get ready for the lunch rush, so I'll leave it to you. Come back anytime. Isn't it like, if this is the time, then it's morning? Alp seems like a genuinely kind soul. You wave to the large man as you leave. All right, I got water, got bread, and I need to go to David. Uh, new guide, okay, so let's look at some of these guides. Uh, okay, item use. Right click, use, yep, we've done that before. We need to eat and drink. Uh, probably I can just right click on stuff to drink or eat it. Don't drink contaminated stuff. Okay. Uh, in terms of skills, I'm thinking about going ranged. Um, generally, in games like this, 
it's good to uh, it's good to not be near the things that are trying to hit you. So I'm thinking maybe range. The one thing we do need to think about is uh, we need to think about. Um, sorry, I just got totally distracted by all this loot. Ammo. I was gonna say ammo. We need to consider that we may have to uh, do something with damage. Damaged armor. Huh. So, you know what's interesting about that? This damaged armor is in, it looks like, the room of Alp. So I wonder if he used to uh, potentially, like, go on adventures or be a mercenary or something. Because he's got armor. Um, I'm not going to pick that up right now because uh, I don't want to, like steal his, you know, remnants of his uh, time being a mercenary. Okay, what are we doing? We're going to go to David. And it looks like our tracking is maybe already on. Oh, and what? why do these guys have exclamation points? Just because I need to click on them? Okay. So let's do that. So this looks like the way into the dungeon, if I had to guess, or like the primary um, way of going into the area where there's danger. Uh, it also looks busted. And I'm just going to check, what do I actually have right now for my gear? Okay, so I am out of pellets, slingshot, and I've got my cleaver and my shield. Okay, that seems just fine. More loot. It seems like we can just take all of this pretty much with impunity, so that's pretty nice. counter of supply, otherwise known as a supply counter. It seems to be the old window of this supply facility. Next to the rusty monitor, there are scattered papers that seem to have organized the supplies of the facility. Huh. Hey, is anyone here? You hear someone coming from the inside. Hi, I'm here to register. My name is... The rugged-looking woman behind the desk holds up a finger while she finishes clicking on her keyboard. Her nameplate reads, Katerina. She seems to have a chip on her shoulder when she finally addresses you. Katerina Spiros. They just make them younger and younger, registering, eh? Katerina rolls her eyes, then presses a button on the desk. Sending someone to your office for registration. Make sure to close your browsers. David will see you. He's through there. Katarina goes back to ignoring you as the, you open the door and walk in. David operates a much more impressive computer setup, and his eyes light up when you enter. Uh, hey, when Katarina said the thing about my browsers, I assure you she was just kidding. Heh <laughs> heh. I'm excited to meet a new recruit, though. I'm David Almanza, but everyone just calls me The House. Hmm. Katarina interjects through the intercom. No one calls you that, David. Stop trying to make the house happen. I'll call you the house, David. The house continues through an awkward chuckle. Anyway, let's get started. What's your name? Addison Thorpe. Entered. Although, I must admit, you look more like a maverick to me. Has a certain ring to it, right? David pulls a device resembling a giant magnifying glass from his desk. It is attached to a number of multicolored cables feeding into various systems. This will read data from your Omniscope lenses and complete your registration. Stand on the mark, then look up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, as quickly as possible. Easy. The device shines a laser that stings your lenses slightly, but is over pretty quickly. Streams of data flash in and out of your vision for a moment. And that's it. You should now be able to connect to any of our systems or items you might find around camp. Does that mean I can take the elevator? David brings you to a yellow box with flashing lights to attract potential buyers. This one says... David's Emporium. Now that you're in the system, you can trade various items through aptly named trade boxes. This is my store here. While other sellers might be cheaper, my inventory selection can't be beat. I'll buy and sell pretty much anything business is business. Great. David leads you to a long red box outside of his office. It is protected by heavy locks and anti-theft protective measures. Oh, and anti-theft detected, okay. Anti-theft protective measures deactivate as you approach reacting to the presence of your Omniscope. You can also store anything in you own in this storage box to avoid having to lug it around. 
There are several of these around camp, but your personal items are coded to your Omniscope, so no one can steal them. Even better, Camp Hewen was established as a processing settlement, so you won't be surprised that we have one of the most sophisticated production systems around. You can take almost anything and turn it into something useful. Let me explain how to use our item production pipeline before I let you go. It's pretty essential to life here in camp. For starters, grab that junk next to you. You receive pile of junk. Got it, what's next? Once you've collected some items, you can put them into your storage and then perform one of three requests. The craft request spits out a brand spanking new item, anything from better gear to medicine. The research request unlocks more, thing to be, more things to be crafted by analyzing blueprints and other researchable items. The recycle option is my favorite because it breaks an item down into its most usable parts. Then you can use those new pieces to craft. Okay. Sounds a bit confusing. Remember, remember, I just woke up after years in a tube. No worries. If you need to remember how to do it, check out Journal Guide in your Omniscope for a refresher. It didn't sound that complicated. Oh good, thank you for that. Plus, what better way to learn than doing it right now? Go to your personal storage, open the item production, and recycle the pile of junk. Easy peasy. Okay, got the pile of junk. Got item production, guide for production, production storage, great. Okay, so, I'm in my personal storage. What does that drop down do? I don't know. Um, oh, okay. Oh, okay, so maybe I start with these because I'm an engineer. Um, yes, okay, so it seems like I start with these because I'm an engineer. Very nice. So that's personal storage. Uh, da, 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 da. So if I store all junk material items... That stores the shards, the machinery, and the electronics. Okay, wait, wait. Key card junk. Okay, here we go. Store all junk items. Well done. For any research, recycling, and crafting requests, put all the necessary items in there to begin with. Open the item production menu and recycle the pile of junk you stored. Let's give it a shot. Production recycle. I am going to check this guide actually real quick. Okay, so N to do that. So N. So it's got all of my stuff in here. I only have the recycle option available right now. Um, I assume the other ones will unlock after I complete this tutorial. There should be a pile of junk in here somewhere, and there is, so I'll recycle that. Uh, it's queued. And there's. it tells me there's a person that's wandering around here. So, yeah, this is in queue. Do I need to do anything to activate it, or do I just close this? Production recycle. Maybe we'll check the guide. Requires some combination of credits, camp member slash facility efficiency, time, and or the proper item slash parts. Any items a character wants to research, craft, or recycle needs to be put into personal storage. Okay, right, so we did that. Some items can be recycled, which breaks them down into other usable parts. Place the items, open the item production UI, and select Recycle. Left-click to add it to the request queue. Note, new items produced through the recycling are automatically added to personal storage when the request is complete. Okay. Okay, so I think all of this is good now, right? So if I look at my tasks, item production, so this is not complete. So I think I just need to wait a little while then. Oh, it's done. After you're done with the recycle process, David pops out to praise you. Oh, I love that. Good job. Now you have the materials you need to make something. Next, let's research an item. Take this blueprint, place it into your personal storage, bring up the item production menu, and select the research icon. Okay, got a bear trap blueprint. So, press N. Press N. We're going to go to... Oh, now it automatically takes us to research, but actually first we have to put it into our uh, into our personal storage. So we'll take this and put it into our storage. Then we'll press N. We've got our blueprint here. Um, we can click research. This person is doing things. It's all queued up. Now we wait. Maybe I just move back and forth a few times. Our research is uh, once your research is completed, David shows up again. Almost like he was lurking nearby. Great. The last step is to actually craft that bear trap. 
Go back to item production, select craft to start the process, and then it'll go into my storage. Great. Okay, so we'll go here, claw trap, make it happen, close, move back and forth a little bit. And that's all done. Maybe I need to get it as well in order for it to be considered complete. Claw trap. Yep, okay, great. I think I got it. That was a big help, David. Good, and it'll only become more intuitive the more you use it. And remember, if you're unsure how to do just about anything, the guide is your friend. So yeah, that was a lot. I hope it all made sense. But it's getting close to quitting time now. If you don't have a place to stay, speak with Mr. Lau. I think a room just opened up after the last expedition underground. So tell him you want that bed. Just thinking of a nice warm bed causes your body to reflexively yawn, which makes David yawn as well. Good luck, Maverick. Thanks, the house. Be sure to come back from time to time, and we can swap camp stories. Okay. Check journal. Track to Jin Lao. So we'll head to that individual now. But first, I do want to actually eat the soup that I received. Uh, presumably, it's in my inventory somewhere. Maybe I didn't actually get any soup. Or maybe I ate it already. It does say I'm pretty hungry. Maybe I just... Did I just not get any soup? Uh, or maybe this is soup somehow. I, I, I don't know. But we're going to eat that. My hunger is being reduced. I'm very thirsty. So we will go ahead and drink that. So I'm hungry and I'm parched. Okay, agility minus 20, strength minus 15%. Okay, so but we're eating. We had some water. So that should go away soon. Key cards, junk, casks, material. Okay, uh, I am going to go ahead and just go here. No, sorry. I'm going to go to our tasks and I'm going to click recycle and I think we just want to recycle everything I'm gonna assume that we do so I'm just gonna queue up absolutely everything for recycling uh, and hopefully that will one day turn into stuff that I can use to craft so we'll start there okay things we can craft there's actually more than I thought claw trap camp sportswear I do actually want to check something here I didn't click to recycle the electronics did I I didn't so actually I, I just want to real quick check my storage for everything okay so this stuff is still here so I may actually be able to craft some stuff. Claw trap, camp sportswear, camp shoes. Can I like press a button to compare this against what I'm already wearing? Slingshot, slingshot pellets. I would love to be able to craft that. I need refined iron, rusty cleaver, first aid kit, bandage one. All the traditional stuff, machinery, electronics. Plastic fiber, sleeping bag lamp, oxygen. The lamp is probably going to be pretty help, helpful. Repair kit. Okay, yeah, this is all stuff that we're going to want. So hopefully the recycling that we're doing is going to allow us to get that stuff. Uh, okay. How are we doing on food and water? These things are, are happening. Uh, I need to go this way. And then this way. And then what? This way. I'm trying to use diagonal movement a bit more. Is this is this my guy? Hello? Hello, I'm Madison Thor Thorpe. Yes, this is my guy. I know, I was wondering when you drive. Were you expecting me? Of course, I make it my business to know everyone in camp. Knowledge is key to humanity's survival. Know what I mean? Let me balance the scales by introducing myself. You can call me Mr. Lau and I run Hewen Camp's residential quarter. If you notice how comfortable it feels around here, it's due to my expert leadership. My little favor to everyone in this camp. Favor? Yes, it isn't cheap to keep the lights on and I'm practically in the red trying to make sure everyone gets a good night's sleep. Whoa, wait, in the red? You know, losing money. Oh my goodness, this camp would have collapsed after closing the mine had I not implemented my credit system. It's a transparent local currency system that rewards the most significant contributors, and now you're also a part of the system. It might seem like a relic of the past, but history can teach valuable lessons. Uh, I'm so tired and that bed over there looks really inviting. Well, recently we finished cleanup in one of our rare solo rooms. Of course, something like that comes with a price tag and we're already at beyond capacity, so sharing is common. I have a few credits, but you're making it sound like what I have is probably insufficient. Between you and me, I get an idiot in here every other day looking for a bed and I usually have to turn them away. You've caught me on a nice day though. 
He looks me up and down and doesn't seem very impressed. Well, I look at him skeptically as well. Look, I just got out of cryostasis, and I'm hoping there's an agreement we can come to. I'm fragile right now. Mr. Lau, rule number one. Work, earn credits, and trade them for goods, food, or room to rent. Your choice since you earned them, but nothing comes for free, especially now that supplies from HQ are dwindling and everybody is scratching for scraps. So, where can I work to earn enough credits for your room? I run the residential area, not a temp agency. I remember Alp saying something about a cave of mushrooms, but you'd have to talk to him for details. I've already said more than I should have for free anyway. Please, Mr. Lau. For me to have the energy to work, I need to sleep. Can you make an exception? Mr. Lau sucks his teeth and tilts his head. Your weakened state means you're no good to him in your current condition. Well, don't say Mr. Lau isn't the most gracious man on Titan. I'll give you the room for now in exchange for a favor in the future. After that, though, you start paying just like everyone else. You hardly have the strength to respond, but you hope the favor doesn't involve more rats. Probably something worse. Mr. Lau goes to his desk, opens a drawer, and takes out a keycard. As he approaches, he holds it out. But when you grab it, he doesn't let go. By accepting this key card, you fully acknowledge all terms and conditions of renting a room here and agree to fulfill a favor for Mr. Lau. If you agree, just say I. I. You receive personal uh, key card to the personal room for Mr. Lau. I'm not always as charitable, but make sure you tell everyone Mr. Lau did for you today. We must scratch each other's backs around here. But when you start paying for the room in the very near future, or your room, uh, you need to start paying or your room card's going to be deactivated. It would be unfair to the other tenants if they paid and you didn't have to, right? Now follow me. Mr. Lau takes the lead and guides you to the door of your new living quarters. Okay, here is your room. For now, sleep. Tomorrow, we talk of favors and future repayments. Mr. Lau leaves. Your door makes an audible chunk sound, and a red light turns on to indicate it is now locked. All right, new digs. The room smells like a mix of chlorine and blood. Whatever happened to free up this room wasn't pretty uh, and only recently scrubbed. It looks clean enough, though, and staying awake is getting more challenging by the second. Okay, needs, sleep. Everyone needs to sleep, even the hero of Titan. Use a bed slash sleeping bag to get a good night's sleep. A greater sleeplessness significantly reduces combat uh, efficacy. Efficiency. <laughs> Passing out in the mines leads to certain death. Okay. And then this is the crafting stuff, which we've already gone over. You think about everything you went through today. Ah, <sighs> what did I wake up to? Camp Hewen. This camp is in shambles. One thing is for certain, though. This place runs on credits first and foremost, so tomorrow I need to start earning my keep. Humming from the machines outside your window lulls you into a trance, and silence eventually envelops you as your head hits the pillow. I dream of rats. The realization of the first Titan settlement team's, my team's, disappearance shook me to my core. All the friendly faces were muddled in my mind, and all the hopes of the settlers were dashed. I can't believe an entire settlement could be wiped out and forgotten so quickly. What happened to everyone? From what I've gathered, Camp Hewen is on its last legs. Being connected from HQ, barely maintained equipment, and food supplies running low make for a terrifying combination. This small group of people have banded together for survival, but without the resources from the mine, they won't last long. Is the camp being forgotten just like the first settlement? Reaching H HQ is impossible at the moment. The mine is a death trap, but I can't just sit around and wait to die. I have no choice but to help Camp Hewen survive, at least until another option reveals itself. Perhaps the answer lies below. Hopefully, I'll figure out what happened to the first settlement along the way. Yeah, I want to go kill some monsters. You wake up abruptly and take a moment to shake off the eeriness of your dream. You almost miss the nothingness of the cryopod, but it was nice to dream again. Something is always better than nothing. You stand, adjust your gear, and take a deep breath. Time to talk to Alp about some fungus. But actually, before we do that, before we do that, we're going to go, oh, I just saw red flash around the screen. What does that mean? 
Okay, and how are we doing here? So sleep is fine, hunger is existing, and thirst is existing. So we will go ahead and uh, eat some food. I can't. What does that say? I have what? Oh, I can't use that right now. I've already used the same type of item recently. Okay, so we're still getting the benefit of, of the stuff we ate earlier, even though we slept. So, okay, that's good to know. There's another way down here. Uh, I am going to do a more thorough look around uh, at some point. But right now, this is not where I want to be, I don't think. I'm looking for... Uh, where's my... I'm looking for the house. Yeah, okay, over here. Because uh, I just wanted to see what's for sale, see if there's any better gear that I can get at this point. So I think that was this. Cleaver, no, okay. I do need slingshot pellets. Where am I at with credits? Oh, I've got a decent number of credits. Um, I will buy those. Uh, I'm actually gonna buy two sets of those. Uh, and actually, I probably could have crafted them at this point. I wonder if I can do that. So we've got 30. Okay, no, just 15 shots with our slingshot. And then we've got our cleaver and our shield. Uh, can we craft anything right now? I, I want to see our current situation with uh, ma uh, material. So... We have 117 machinery, a bunch of electronics. We do have a lot of, okay, so we actually can craft quite a bit because we picked up all that junk. So let's see if there's anything useful that we can craft. Uh, nothing here, slingshot, slingshot pellets. So we could have crafted those. Camp, camp sport where we're missing fiber. We could craft the shoes. We could craft the lamp. I think we are gonna craft that lamp. Oxygen canister. I don't think we need that right away. Claw trap. Splint. Energy drink. Sleeping bag. And I think we are going to also do a repair kit. And I think that's good for now. Okay, and now we're going back to Alp because he needs us to get some mushrooms. And it auto saved. That's nice, because I probably should have saved already. P1. What does that mean? Oh, available perk points. Okay, yeah, we still haven't uh, decided what we're going to spend those on yet. Have you eaten? Can I ask you something? Of course. Let's talk in my office. Back so soon. You couldn't stay away from my food, eh? I don't actually know if you gave me soup. <laughs> It was delicious, but I'm mostly looking for a job. Do you need any help around here? Oh, I'm sorry. If we were a bigger pub, I could hire you, but I already have Miriam serving and Ulf acting as our official mascot. Ulf lets out a giant fake laugh as he approaches. Oh my god. That's battery. Uh, Ulf, go ahead and yuck it up. Alp, but you couldn't uh, never replace me. You could never replace me. Maybe I'll give up bartending and have you go back to mixing drinks with names you can't even remember, huh? You know I kid Ulf, sheesh, so sensitive. Alp gives Ulf a smile and a wink, and the hardened bartender does the same. They are friends, after all. Then his attention returns to you. So you see, I have no work for you here. What about some work involving mushrooms? Oh, thank you for reminding me. Yes, some people ventured into the cave northeast of camp, and they brought me a few delicious mushrooms, but I need a lot more. With the right combination of these mushrooms and my private stash of peppers from Earth, this could be the key to bringing my family's Mantar Sote to Titan. Mantar Sote, Mantar Sote to Titan. The more we can forage for around here helps save on supplies, so this could be a turning point for us. Mushrooms make a great meat substitute, which we need since we lost connection with HQ. It's been a while since I've even seen a mushroom, let alone eaten one. I'm sure you won't be disappointed, my friend. Take this to help dig up the mushrooms and come back with as many as you can carry, at least 10 though. Also, the cave is really dark, so you will want a light. I will let you have my old lamp. I just crafted a lamp. It doesn't have much power left, but if you need more, I'm sure you are a resourceful enough fellow to make a request to be crafted so you can craft more of them or purchase them. I think Judith also sells them. You receive sickle and lamp. Have fun mushroom hunting. 
Scythe and Lamp. Guide for Gathering Plants. Vision Range. Okay, so let's check Gathering first. Left click to add them to the inventory. A higher gather efficiency yields extra rewards from a single gather action. Plants can be gathered multiple times and will go back over time, so make sure to revisit locations for specific ingredients. Vision. Caves, caves and underground locations offer little light, shortening one's range of vision. The dark vision perk can increase the character's natural vision in the darkness. Equipping a lamp can increase the character's range of vision while operating in the dark. You can turn it on and off with the semicolon key. Uh, continuous use of the lamp drains the battery each turn, so be sure to carry extra lamps just in case. Okay, uh, sorry about that. My dog wanted to go outside, but we are back now. So, um... So yeah, let's go do some mushrooms. I did figure out, so if we want to turn the lamp on and off, uh, we do that just like that. So let's go ahead and, and I also uh, figured out that I can swap my weapon set by doing this. So that's kind of useful. But we're gonna go and do our task here. So meal that mushroom, uh, cave mushrooms, underground cave A. Take me there. Okay, so that's to the south here. Okay, so we're actually outside. That's pretty cool. Looks like we need to go this way. I think he did mention the cave being to the northeast. Okay, that's, that's nice. And we're going to go ahead and turn on our lamp. I'm failing to gather. Okay, I got two mushrooms there, and now it's depleted. No enemies so far. I'm gonna go up this, oh, okay, so I guess that's a blocked off. I wonder, hmm, that looks like it should lead somewhere. That also looks like it should lead somewhere, but looks like we're just gonna go up this main tunnel here. Another mushroom here. Do I need to equip this sickle? Let's try. 19 to 25. Let's just let's just try. Oh, okay, nice. There we go. So maybe now it's just automatically doing its thing. Okay, and there is a critter here. So we're going to start by switching this, and then firing, firing again, got some endurance level up, nice, new perk unlocked, pull out, oh wait, this thing's still alive, okay, now it's dead, if I press F, I can take all of its bits, that one I didn't get, so we'll get that one, uh, we're peckish, and so that does reduce our strength. Um, so let's eat something. Cave mushrooms, we got four of them. Finish up that bread. We're regenerating health. There's a beetle there, so we'll just try to get the jump on it here. Titan worm. doing a little bit of damage at least. Okay, so now I want to switch. Nice! That actually went pretty well. Now I'm going to switch back. That was great! Okay, we're figuring this out. All these perks that we're unlocking, which is always nice. Did this drop anything? We got some shards. No matter what my gear is, I still have the sickle equipped, right? I do. Okay, great. Getting our mushrooms. Nothing in this minecart. Continuing to get mushrooms. Oh, yeah, a bunch of stuff. Antitoxin, cockroach, whatever. Centipede juice. And some first aid kits. So we're going to take all that stuff. Going to take all that stuff.
Uh, I should switch back to our ranged loadout. I am a little low on pellets, is that right? We got 15 more. Let's equip those 15 so that we're fully loaded here. Uh, there is also a slot in the inventory for a pickaxe, so I assume that we'll get one of those at some point. Ooh, there's stuff down here. That looks cool. I love stuff. Rusty pipe and a crowbar. So those are probably better uh, than what we already have, if I had to guess. So let's check. Yeah. Oh, that's two-handed. But even the crowbar is better than our cleaver, so we will change that out. Uh, but we're going to stick with ranged for now. So there's a way down here. I don't know if that's the same way we came in. I, I guess I should say I, I don't think it is the same way we came in. That's all depleted. How are we doing on cave mushroom? 21. Okay, so we have more than double what was requested. Just looking at our map in the upper right here, it looks like we've explored most of this area. Yeah, is there anything here? No, nothing here. Okay, so let's check out this door to the south. Can I just click on the map to move? I cannot. But I could just click down here, so we'll do that. Look around. Alright, what's through here? Uh, continuation of the cave. So now we're in cave B. I don't know if we're supposed to be here or not. Okay, so that's something I can mine, and there are more enemies here than I expected. So there are already two enemies, and I can see a third. Um, this happened because I moved too hastily. I'm going to try to retreat. Okay. They can get attacks of opportunity from time to time. I'm going to go back into this cave and see if they follow me. They don't. Okay. So, um... What we're going to do is we're actually going to call this right here. Uh, I think we are at about time for this episode. Uh, next time, we're going to see if we can clear Cave B as well, just because it looks interesting. I probably won't try to mine anything until I actually get a pickaxe, but, um, but yeah, thank you all for watching. Really appreciate it, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.